Alright, welcome back to the Late End Gamer, everyone. So in our last video, we actually did that really crazy, intense mission where we had to go through the zoo and then we had to initiate the blood fountain and get a number of kills or blood sacrifices before we could actually enter this room. And you remember how we had to like run from that mission, right? So I actually went through my upgrade channel, our upgrade station. I... Um, I'm still going to use my shotgun. I am going to change from the, the Gear 43 to my um, M1 Grand for a minute. I actually did, you know, two more upgrades on it. And I think it's actually in a state now where I can actually take it out and use it. It's actually a lot better than the, the G43. But the thing with this one is, before, most people don't like the fact that you had to reload it only when the clip is empty but i got this mod or this upgrade where i can reload the gun anytime which is why i'm going to take it out i'm going to still use my pistol my m1911 and i got my machete this is actually what i was talking about earlier and i should change some of my perks as well maybe from combo king i'll change from combo king and add something else here maybe i use like in enhanced stamina because i've uh, wait no second chance i don't get knocked often but i think i'm going to use this one and i actually got this new mod which is for my artillery flare and it actually gives me additional artillery shells okay so we're going to head out with this build and um, let's just get some mines and stuff. I might not take the mines. Depending on what I get. We need to heal up. Get another one. Let's reload our ammo. It's actually full. Alright. I would prefer to take the incendiary mines over the regular teller mines. Uh, I think we're going to use it this door oh this is actually a screamer this is the first time I'm getting introduced to one of these monsters that was pretty disgusting so this monster You can beat it, but it takes a lot for sure. Where is it? Alright, let's see if we can just sneak up on it and maybe like get a shot. Because its weak spot is actually in its back, but it's usually like always a rush down monster. But the shotgun is actually pretty good for taking him down. Actually, I thought he died. Oh my god. A good trick would be to use this. To get double damage. And there he's dead. And this eels as well. And the mod that I just added to uh, my support grenade is the one where it lasts twice as long. Alright, so where should I go now? But yeah, I am used to the Screamer because I have fought him like quite a few times in the Horde mode. Because I have escaped the Horde mode like quite a few times. So, having experience fighting that monster, especially when you're doing um, the Horde mode solo with four players. Well, not f with four players, but for four players. You get like multiple of these monsters in it. 
Uh, let's add this air. And let's see if we can add this here. Let's see what will happen. No! No, shut up! He's going to chase me down. He didn't get hit. Can I shoot that thing? It's actually going to attack that thing. Wait, it died? Yeah, I think it ran into mine. Oh, whatever. So let's continue, everyone. The funny thing, though, is fighting that monster, if you don't hit the... Hit the the soft spot or the weak spot you're mostly going to waste your ammo so I don't think I can fight the next one if I actually should see a next one oh bloody hell that's a ritual circle do you know what that means it's the cult the one we found in Venice Venice all of this is them what the cult are you sure? Who else? These mad bastards have been using this place as a base for their evil bloody rituals. Oh, oh I need ammo. And there is none. So what we have to do is we have to take down this monster and we'll get ammo from him. I didn't get a lot, but let's see what we can do with this. That's one. And we have a grenadier somewhere. Yep, they killed their own. That's pretty disgusting. Oh, I'm just hurting myself. So I guess I'll have to waste some time with this guy and snipe him. something sir please please to like wait to snipe him there is a hatch inside the greenhouse that leads back into the tunnels and around towards can the you tell me where to get wood sir i need to check how much points i need i need sixteen thousand points to get a gold star in this mission is it six yeah it's sixteen thousand okay I mean, this mission should be like really short, I guess. 
That's usually how it works. this thing oh I think it's like a tiger or something or Do I not have anyone else to kill? Creepers, Disgusting. We can just take care of these guys like this. Ah, no. I'm going to die if I try that. I only have like stupid minds. Why? Disgusting. It's in your mind. Oh, what? All right, let's put that there for right, that guy. Let's do this. One in the face. Almost dead, sir. Let's die, please. There we go. Oh, I would hate to be a zombie right now. Bruno, this place is a bloody creeper nest. They're everywhere. Don't let them overwhelm you. Stand your ground. These things are so disgusting. It's a good thing I actually brought that thing. This is a second chance perk. These things are everywhere. Going in circles. Oh no. Actually, I thought this mission would be easy. Turns out it's not. Armor giants and grenadiers. But guess what? I just saw a preacher. Disgusting. Oh, pretty sure it doesn't work. I 
I think I can leave those guys behind. Let's see. Where should I go? I'm actually supposed to kill these guys. here kill the zombies to break the blood seal oh I didn't see that And this mission still isn't done as yet, which is pretty crazy. Oh, here we go. Yep, that was pretty crazy. Alright everyone, so this is the end of part 2 of chapter 4. Thank you all for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next video.